breaking news from NYC. Democrat leader just arrested. Sickening crime. Democrats love their activism. However, it isn't 1965 anymore and the days where protesting really makes a substantial difference are long gone. But that doesn't stop people from continuing to protest. And while many of the Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and others' rallies and protests are disgusting in their nature this latest protest in New York City will make your skin crawl because of the callousness of it all. This past Thursday a Democratic New York City councilman named Juman Williams and Anis Rodriguez were both arrested and handcuffed after protesting. But it wasn't just their protesting that was the issue. They were purposefully blocking an ambulance with a person inside who needed to be transported to the local hospital immediately. Both of the councilmen were protesting the White House administration, the president, and ICE over a supposed illegal alien activist who was allegedly being held for deportation at the airport. A cop had them face down on the hood of two cars while both of them were chanting, Freedom! Resist! Freedom! Resist! We are going to resist! The New York Post reported. The 39-second clip also shows cops grappling with several protesters sitting on the street. A photo posted on Rodriguez's Twitter account shows him being restrained by at least two cops, one of whom has both arms wrapped around the back of Paul's head and neck. This is not how you treat people who are protesting for human rights. This is not what democracy looks like. We can't call ourselves progressives and pro-immigrants when the Agnet News is doing chokehold to us. Injusticia. The caption says. A female protester also claimed she was roughed up by cops. They were picking me up and throwing me because I'm small enough that they could, freelance journalist Indigo Olivier, 22, of Brooklyn, told the Post. They kept going for my breasts. They were really aggressively pushing and I kept saying, those are my breasts. Around 300 people took part in the protest. The night said 10 men and 8 women were taken into custody, but didn't immediately respond to a request for comment on the claims regarding its officers' conduct. Mayor de Blasio has been briefed on the protest and police activity along Broadway in Lower Manhattan, a spokesman said on Twitter. The area is covered extensively by cameras and we'll be reviewing the footage to get to the bottom of what happened. Spokesman Eric Phillips added. Officials will scrutinize the actions of both cops and protesters, City Hall sources said. A night union leader called on de Blasio to start an investigation on these council members that actively went in front of an ambulance with its emergency lights on taking a patient to the hospital. They have a right to protest. It's the American way, I get it, said Lou Turco, president of the Lieutenant's Benevolent Association but they cannot block an ambulance going to the hospital. And these are council members who are dictating policy for the city of New York. Ragbar, executive director of the New Sanctuary Coalition of New York City, was detained by immigration and customs enforcement officials during a routine check-in at 26 Federal Plaza, according to a statement issued by the group. He was put in the ambulance after fainting, McGuire said. All those arrested were taken to the 7th Precinct headquarters, where the Reverend Raymond Blanchett emerged and told fellow activists that Williams was going to be released with a desk appearance ticket. But Rodriguez is being booked on charges of disorderly conduct, resisting arrest and obstruction of government administration, and will be held pending arraignment, Blanchett said. An immigrant from Trinidad, Ragbar was ordered deported in 2006 following his conviction for wire fraud and conspiracy, but has remained in the U.S. by challenging that ruling. Lawyers with the Immigrant Rights Clinic of Washington Square Legal Services filed a suit on his behalf Thursday against U.S. Attorney Jeff Sessions and other government officials, claiming Ragbar has a stay of removal that's valid through January 19. A longtime New Yorker, a husband and a father. Ravi is beloved by all of us who have had the privilege of working with him to make New York a welcoming community for all of its residents, said the Reverend Kaji Dausa, co-chair of the New Sanctuary Coalition. The fact that ICE has taken him as if his spirit, family ties, and contributions to the community mean nothing is inhumane. ICE didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. This is the face of the modern Democratic Party. They preach tolerance and acceptance love and hope. 
yet they go out and they physically and verbally assassinate anyone and everyone who disagrees with them and gets in their way. It is very hypocritical behavior and the height of irony itself. How can one promote tolerance, love, and open-mindedness, and point to the Republican Party as callous yet sit there and block an ambulance carrying someone in critical need of hospital services? Perhaps for some the ends justify the means. But in reality they have become the very thing they hate, despise, and preach against in this political atmosphere. Share if you agree, if you agree.